Hey guys, so it is Thursday. I brought it all up. I was about to make some jars, but yes, I got some Amazon. And it's my mold. I ordered some new candle molds. Man, these things are so tiny. Why would they lie to me like that? That is so rude. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or return them. I think that is really gloomy. <laughs> so I got some tall, um, just regular stand-up pillar candles. And these like, kind of squiggled ones. All right, that honestly kind of blew me, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and make my candle jars. <gasps> I just got an order. Ooh. All right, so I'm in the garage right now. I'm about to make my blue jars. The colors are coming out kind of wonky. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I want them a little bit lighter than what they are, but they keep coming out that color um, or like an inconsistent color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that color. I like it, it's cute, but I did want it a tad bit lighter. But it's okay, I'm cool with it. The supplies that you need are a container to mix the cement in. Cement, I use cement all. I got it, I get it from Home Depot. They have either the 15 pound bags or the 55 pound bags. And I get the 55 pound one because I think it's about $5 more than the 15 one. And you get a lot. I keep my cement in a bin. I just open up the, the bag and pour it in the bin. Water, I saw a YouTube video of a girl. She said that distilled water works best, but I always forget to pick it up. So I just use regular tap water and pour it in this bottle. And then pigment, I use this pigment from Amazon. I will try and leave a link down to it below. Or you could use acrylic paint. It's just when you use acrylic paint, you have to use a lot of it to mix it in. Um, and with this, you can just use a tiny bit and it gives it color, a little goes a long way. Oh, and obviously the molds. I buy these molds off Amazon. This one I had ordered from Etsy, but they have them on Amazon for way, way, way cheaper. So I wish I would have found it on Amazon first. And then this is also another one that I bought from Amazon. I'm just gonna go ahead and start. I like to pour a little bit of water at the bottom. So I like to fill the cement up to the top line and then I just pour so I know exactly how much cement I'm using. And then mix and then keep on pouring and adding water. You really should be using a mask and goggles when you do this because the cement kind of flies everywhere. Um, so don't be like me. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no So it is Monday. It's been a couple of days since I made these jars. I think I made them on Thursday. But I worked Thursday night through Sunday night. So back in the lab. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and demold these jars. And then depending on how they look, if they turned out good, then I'm gonna start on the orange ones. I'm gonna go ahead and demold these jars and watch The Vampire Diaries because I've rewatched The Vampire Diaries 10 million times. Um, it's my favorite comfort show. I watch it every single time I'm like in a, in a bad mood or whatever. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stay.
you guys crusty jane back but it is now like eight o'clock um i had made dinner ate dinner some laundry you know the usual but i'm gonna show you guys the jars how the jars turned out i had washed them earlier not completely dry yet there's still like some wet spots like you can see right there but i'm obsessed with this color i think it's so cute i love it it is tuesday it is march 1st first of the month um i went to the gym this morning and then i had to go to PetSmart to get my dog some food so i did that ate some breakfast i listened to this amazing amazing podcast i'll link it down below i forgot i forgot her name but she's a black woman and she does like a whole bunch of different podcasts on like relationships business things like that it was so freaking good it's very triggering <laughs> um i hate to use that word because it sounds so like millennial but very very triggering like she read me for filth but i'm in my candle studio and i'm making some candles so last night um i poured these they're so stinking cute i love them i like this one more than this one i wish like the pack came with these like just two of these um and then i also made like some regular pillar candles and then i also tried to make a little holder out of air dry clay because the mold that i want for it won't come for a while so i was like oh let me just try and make it myself but i definitely definitely need some more practice with it i don't really know how to use air dry clay like that so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how i set these bad boys up all right guys so molds are hardening i just poured them they look awesome giving very much um gender reveal <laughs> with the pink and blue so these are the molds it's very hard to see um but it's honestly just like faces they look like those like stone faces i don't know if y'all ever seen um night in the museum and there's like that stone guy who's like um them give me gum gum or something like that i forgot what he says but it's giving very much that guy i thought they were honestly going to be bigger when i ordered them off amazon but they're not and also just by you see how flimsy these molds are i feel like it's going to be a struggle to get them out but we're going in optimistic we will see how they turn out But they're so small i wish they were a little bit bigger but it's okay i still really like them hey guys so i am currently editing this video and i of course forgot to close it out so thank you guys so much for watching i know it was kind of all over the place i'm still getting the hang of vlogging but if you guys like these videos and want to see more of them please give it a thumbs up like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching